In this video, we will look at two examples of factoring a trinomial in the form ax squared plus bx plus c, where a, the leading coefficient, is not one, and the only common factor among all three terms is one. For the first example, we have seven a squared plus eighteen a minus forty. Remember, the first step in any factoring problem is to factor out the greatest common factor if possible, but notice here, the only common factor among all three terms is one, and therefore, if this does factor, it will factor into two binomial factors. Let's set up the parentheses for the two binomial factors. Now remember, because a is not one, we are not looking for the factors of negative 40 that add to positive 18. That's only true when the leading coefficient is equal to one. Notice here it's equal to seven. So for this type of trinomial, the first step is to place the factors of ax squared, or in our case, seven a squared, into the first positions of the parentheses or binomial factors. Well, the factors of seven a squared are seven a and a. Let's place a seven a here and an a here. Step two is to place the factors of negative 40 into the second positions until we determine that the sum of the inner and outer product is equal to the middle term of positive 18 a. So let's go ahead and list the factors of negative 40. And there are quite a few. We have negative one times positive 40, or negative 40 times positive one, negative two times positive 20, or negative 20 times positive two, as well as negative four times positive 10, or negative 10 times positive four, and finally, negative five times positive eight, or negative eight times positive five. So we have a lot of factors to try, but it is helpful to keep in mind, we do want the sum of the inner and outer products to be equal to positive 18a. Let's begin by trying the factors of negative five and positive eight. Let's place the negative five here, which would give us minus five, and the positive eight here, which would give us plus eight. Well, notice how the inner product is negative five a, and then plus the outer product is 56 a, well, negative five a plus 56 a is positive 51 a, which is not 18 a, and therefore this is not the correct factorization. Let's try changing the positions of the negative five and positive eight. Let's try placing the plus eight here and the minus five here. Well, now the inner product is positive eight a plus the outer product is negative 35a, and 8a plus negative 35a is equal to negative 27a, which again is not 18a. This is not the correct factorization. So we try something different. Let's try using the negative four and positive 10. Let's try placing the negative four here, which gives us minus four, and the positive 10 here, which gives us plus 10. We should be able to tell real quickly this won't work because notice how the outer product is already 70a, which is much larger than positive 18a. But just going through the process, notice how the inner product is negative 4a, plus the outer product is 70a, and the sum is 66a, which is not 18a. Let's change the position of these two factors. Let's try the plus 10 here and the minus four here. We'll notice now the inner product is 10a plus the outer product is negative 28a. 10a plus negative 28a is negative 18a. We want positive 18a, but because we have the right number but wrong sign, it's an easy fix we simply change the sign of these factors. We'll use the factor of negative 10 here and the factor of positive four here. And let's go ahead and check this. We now have an inner product of negative 10a plus the outer product of positive 28a. And notice how now the sum is positive 18a. We now have the correct factorization of the given trinomial. But of course, we can always check this factorization by determining the product. And let's go ahead and do that. We have the quantity 7a minus 10 
times the quantity a plus four to multiply. We distribute seven a, and then we distribute negative 10. Seven a times a is seven a squared. Seven a times four gives us plus 28 a. Negative 10 times a gives us minus 10 a. And negative 10 times positive four gives us negative 40 or minus 40. Combining like terms, we do have seven a squared plus 18 a minus 40, which verifies we do have it factored correctly. Let's look at our second example. Again, the only common factor among all three terms is one. If this does factor, it will factor into two binomial factors. And again, because a is not one, we are not looking for the factors of negative 36 that add to negative 23. Factoring these types of trinomials is more involved. The first step is to place the factors of 3x squared into the first positions. The factors of 3x squared are 3x and x. And now we place the factors of negative 36 into the second positions until we determine when the sum of the inner and outer product is equal to negative 23x. And again, there are a lot of factors of negative 36, but let's go ahead and list them. We've got negative one times 36, or negative 36 times one, negative two times 18, or negative 18 times two, negative three times 12, or negative 12 times three, negative four times nine, or negative nine times four, and finally, negative six times positive six. But again, keep in mind, we do want the sum of the inner and outer product to be equal to negative 23x. So notice how if we use the factors of negative nine and positive four, we place the factor of negative nine here, which gives us minus nine, the outer product is negative 27x, which means this factor here must be positive four giving us plus four. So by keeping in mind what we know the sum of these two products must be, we should make educated guesses, not just random guesses, for the factors of C that will give us the sum of the products that we want. Checking our work, notice the inner product is four times x or four x plus the outer product is three x times negative nine, which is negative 27 x. And notice how the sum is in negative 23 x, which is the sum that we want, and therefore this is factored correctly. But again, let's verify by determining this product. We have the quantity three x plus four times the quantity x minus nine. And now multiplying, we distribute the three x and then distribute the four. So three x times x is three x squared. Three x times negative nine is negative 27 x, giving us minus 27 x. Four times x is four x, giving us plus four x. And finally, four times negative nine is negative 36, giving us minus 36. And combining like terms, we do have three x squared minus 23 x minus 36, which is the same as the original expression, verifying we have this factored correctly. I hope you found this helpful.